hello po everyone my name is glenda for glenda online lifestyle welcome po to my channel so for today's video i am going to show you um an episode of my arts and crafts well i haven't done this for a long time i think the last time i've done this was um october when i did my halloween decors and then all that then after that um came christmas actually i wanted to do another another episode of arts and crafts last christmas because i've done a lot of you know decorating you know of course but i just didn't have the time you know to do it so this time i want to show you something it is um an item from poundland and um okay just a bit of background of poundland Poundland is one of the stores here in the UK and right now during this pandemic we were joking that it is the nation's uh, favorite <laughs> lockdown store because most of the stores of course especially the the clothes shops are closed so the only stores that are open are those that are selling uh, food but because Poundland is also selling food it's more like Poundland is like now a a one-stop store so they have you know everything in there food uh, home decors um, cleaning stuff and they even have clothing line now they're selling clothes as well and also um, when I first came here Poundland is really Poundland so everything you see inside the shop is worth a pound but I don't know when exactly you know it happened but suddenly they're selling stuff that are not a pound so you will find items there that are worth two pounds three pounds five pounds and of course the clothes are worth more I saw this truck suit a pair is worth like 20 pounds like the the zip up hoodie is worth 10 and the bottom uh, truck suit is worth 10 pounds so it's 20 a pair so that is already a lot <laughs> and my husband is laughing at me because I also found some tops there that I really like I saw this top it's worth um three or four pounds and I was <laughs> I was th thinking so hard if I will get it or not I'll get it or not and my husband saw me and he said how much is that so I said uh, four pounds I said for goodness sake, you know, just take it. Why are you thinking a lot? I mean, too much for four pounds. And then you go to Zara, you saw this um, coat, it's 80 quid and you just bought it. And you're not even decided if you're going to like it or not. So true to his words, I, um, I wore it like twice. And after that, I decided that I don't like it. So now I'm not wearing it. And yeah, so that is the background of Poundland. So now, if you saw one well it's my one and only uh ls silent ls and the camera was was uh, focused on a lamp it's like a i call it um a fishbowl lamp you know with a flickering candle uh one of my friends saw it and she really liked it so she asked me where i got it from so i told it's from poundland but uh of course you will not find it exactly like that but the materials i get the materials from poundland and i just uh, transformed it and that's how you know it looks like now so now <laughs> let's <laughs> let's continue <laughs> right for today's um video i am going to show you this candelabra i call it candelabra but uh you can i don't know they call it candle holder which is a candle holder you can put a candle here this on itself is already beautiful it is beautiful it's glass and look it has this rustic um effect color or paint yeah it, it looks you know rustic i really like it so this by itself is already beautiful so when i first saw this like two years ago i bought two so i have one in my kitchen and i just put you know a tea light a tea candle here a tea light you know candle but of course you know, it has a hole there so i will put the tea light in a um 
in a little bowl like a condiment bowl and pop it in here so that is how the uh, idea of transforming this you know was um, born now I am going to show you I don't have it here so I have this uh, fish bowl I don't know is that what you call it fish bowl but I also got this from Poundland. So by the way, this candle holder or candelabra is, is, is a pound. And this is also a pound in Poundland. And this is, you know, made of plastic. So I bought this, um, I remember that was, you know, my Kives, my second son's birthday, second birthday when I bought this. I bought two because we gave him a birthday party in our house so I thought maybe I should prepare some sweets for the kids but I don't want to use a breakable glass so I found this so I used this to put the, the sweets you know in so this is just you know made of plastic so what I did I connected this plastic bowl to here look at that look how beautiful is that yes so i i, I use uh, glue to do that actually you can use either a glue gun i got this glue gun of course you know you put a, a glue gun stick in here and at the bottom of the you know plastic uh, fish bowl and just pop it on top you know like that see how beautiful is that so that is just a pound and a pound for the fish bowl and now you have a fish bowl lump and you put a candle so I have this candle again this candle I got this from Poundland for I think um, three pounds but there were three candles inside the pack so basically it's like one pound you know each so this is battery operated this is not a real candle this is only battery operated and it has no more I have another one a smaller one Because it's 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 really bright outside so you cannot see look now this one is smaller so you put it there look at that so I'm going to show you what I got already so this is what I made this is what you can see look it's already stuck and it is really you know sturdy look I made this two years ago so this is already like two years old and um, yeah usually I use the bigger candle inside but the bigger candle ran out of battery it doesn't light up anymore yeah so let's use the little one can't see it because it's it's bright outside look at that it's beautiful so yeah so basically it cost you so one pound for the candle one pound for the fish bowl and one pound for the uh, candle holder so now you have this really nice you know uh, fish bowl candle holder for three pounds and if you want for some you know I've seen someone on YouTube who painted this um, glass spray painted it with silver and another one a uh, white like a uh, uh, chalk paint thing to give it like a ceramic effect but i'm just happy the way it is so i'm just keeping it like this yeah so now i can still make another one for my friend so another fishbowl lump another idea which again you know i did this two years ago because i remember I, I used this for my son's uh, birthday cake 
this. So I hope you like it. And by the way, before I uh, I end this vlog, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my super chatters. My super chatters, thank you so much. They've always been there. They've been supporting me since I started my channel. And I know I cannot thank you enough, but let me say this thank you anyway. So number one, first, in Levine, thank you so much. Jason Manriki, thank you. Thank you for your support. Polo You30, thank you. And Yukina's channel, thank you, sister. I really appreciate you. And Mercy Amor, thank you. And um, Yayus yeah, Chub, thank you, Po. Thank you for your support. And uh, Beth TV, Beth, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your patience and who else keep walking i'm trying to figure out who, who you are but i think i have an idea already who you are and um i have found you i am subscribed to your channel and i am following you i like your videos by the way and um who else to uh knight of hands knight of hands thank you paul yes thank you so much and thank you for your support uh sister wendelin oka thank you po and to everyone who is here today i i really appreciate your support thank you because of you all um i like doing this vlog i like doing videos doing this videos and sharing it here doing it uh sharing it here on this uh premieres amazing <laughs> that sounds so complicated because of you all i like doing uh, videos i enjoy doing it now and i am happy to do this premieres that is what i was trying to say <laughs> and um so bye for now and uh see you next time bye